So your child needs to know what is tahara before they are obligated for to perform tahara. They need to know the rituals and the rites that we perform before they arrive it. This is ilm fard. It is an obligation. Is it an obligation upon the child or the parent? The parent, right? So now you're not just responsible for your education, but you're responsible legally, spiritually, ritually, religiously for your children's education. So when a father or mother does not fulfill the religious training of their child well in the madhab, and according to Imam al-Shafi'i and all of those who follow in the path, they understand that you have committed a sin. It is ma'asiyah. That is of a higher religious order that you have neglected an obligation. Fardu ayn, A personal obligation. As personal as the other obligations that you fulfill in worship of Allah. You have neglected an essential duty in your relationship with Allah. So what are we responsible to teach? فَيُعَلِّمُهُ الْوَالِي Now Imam and now we changes the word from al-ab wal-um to the word al-wali, the governor. Because I, with my children, am like the king to his country. Look at the precision of his words. Look at the fiqh. He's no longer now talking about father and mother. He's saying, no, the father and mother now take the role of a governor in the life of their children. You are a wali. So when the Prophet ﷺ says, كُلُّكُمْ رَاعٍ All of you is responsible. He's not just talking about the king or the sultan or whoever. He's talking about a father in his home, a mother with her children, a teacher in his classroom, an imam in his masjid. He's talking about those who are given responsibility. From that duty, al-ab wal-um, they become wali. They are the ones responsible for their children. يُعَلِّمُهُ الطَّهَارَةِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَالصَّوْمِ وَنَحْوِهَا To teach them الطَّهَارَةِ صَلَاةِ صِيَامِ And all those obligations. وَيُعَرِّفَهُ And to teach them, even before they are at an age of obligation, تَحْرِيمُ الزِّنَا وَالْلُوَاطِ وَالسَّرِقَةِ To teach them equally the sinfulness and the prohibition of premarital activity, of adultery, of homosexuality, of a sariqah, of theft, and usurping others' property, washurbil muskir, and anything that intoxicates, wal kadib, wal ghiba, and lying, and cheating, and backbiting others. All of these become obligations. So if you have not sat with your 10, 12, 13 year old son or daughter, I'm not saying you sit with them and you say, okay, here's what you need to know. But taught them the way I just showed you, remember the wudu? The essence of its meaning. It's a, a comprehensive system of life. It's not, it's just rules and obligations. This is halal, this is haram. It's showing them in your conduct. Approving what is in their conduct. Protecting them from that which is sinful. All of the imams in our era, they tell you that a father who does not protect his children from viewing on television, that which alludes to the haram has fallen ill into this.